SSG versus Vitality for top eight. Put Team Vitality in the lower bracket, but Yummy Cheeseman, what a task it's gonna be. It was a matchup that we were robbed of in the Spring Major. The number one seed from NA for this Spring Split up against the number one team in the world. So many of these players have waited for this opportunity. LJ being one of them and already causing quite a few hassles. Arsenal called off by Hawks there. Probably the player that everyone's, I don't know, almost happiest for the way that this season is going for him after EU United. Oh. Kind of got trashed uh, when they went over to the Season 8 World Championship, but now he's getting a second crack at it. He had a huge disappointment there, and this season has been a lot better, this split in particular, especially re replacing the huge shoes that was Daniel. I mean, everyone thought that that Daniel move was the end of SSG season. And they've turned it around completely. And Radosin even said in an interview last night, Oh, they're through. They might be they're one through. of the best team players. And there we go. LJ gets the first. If you're going to get way through, you might as well wipe out Radosin on the way. Arsenal even went, went off to try and make sure he could cover if the respawn happened on the right hand side. Wasn't needed. SSG 1 0. Arsenal is a menace. He had the most demos yesterday, 2.4 a game in their first round, and is one of the highest of the entire wildcard as well. Always dangerous on the pitch, and you can see Team Vitality looking for some more. And so much talk about top 25 list. And definitely tell you right now, Arsenal is top three, top one even, when it comes to pop-offs, when it, they get the victory. Lives and breathes the game. And now his team has started off so well here. They've got so much offense, but here's the danger, man. Yep. Zen clears long. Everyone's now to retreat back. Vitality are gonna try and see what they can get going. There's so much individual mechanics on Team Vitality, and yet you see how much they work together as a team, in particular Zen. Mm. The outstanding mechanical young gun, the kid that is on fire at the moment, hasn't lost a single event in RLCS that he's ever played. Yesterday as well, also on top of the demos, 2.25. And a lot of these plays was because somebody like Alpha, like Redosin, can set up a solo play while the other two go search for a bump. That's something that maybe we should clear it up as well whilst we're here, Yummy. When we say that this is a team that hasn't been beaten, they have been beaten in series. Mm -hmm. Vitality have been taken out, I believe, twice now. Once online and once by BDS. And as we see Alpha wipe out Hoxter, he's going to take a while to land, but LJ's got control of the ball. Goal scorer now turning into the goal defender. So for Vitality to lose this is not completely out of the question. Definitely not, especially considering how strong SSG have looked at this LAN. They talk about it, they're individuals, but Radosin is an individual who can score. At both ends, this time he gets it in the correct net. Yeah, it's then playing it around everybody, realized where LJ wanted to try and get out of his path and immediately took to the skies. So 1-1. One, one. Vitality finding their way back in. Didn't have to try too hard for it either. Sad Junior and Hoxer have both told me that they're in the best oh, form they've rough. ever been in right now. What a time to find that form at the World Championship. Arsenal is looking for it. It's going to be Hoxer around the corner. Redosin only clears as far as Arsenal, but Alpha pre jumped his hit. Didn't quite work out for them. I do like the idea. Now Arsenal drops down. Redosin covers. Alpha on the chase. LJ got ball, got boost. He'll be perfectly happy with this position he finds himself in, even if Zen did have control of the ball. And now, this is the same way they scored the last one, the exact same position. Space Station have covered well, and LJ's position, he just didn't jump. It's a very classical play, though, from Team Vitality. They slow the ball down. They like a, a first touch that goes high, that they can threaten a flip reset and allow the others to either push up into that demo or to beat out a player and open up the net. But Space Station have been beautifully playing this out of the corner, not letting it get into the middle where the follow-up can happen. Well, LJ, for the first time, has Here been beaten go. off the backboard! There was only one place that was going to go. And that's exactly what was expected if the ball pushes forward into open space. Zen gets the first touch. Hoxha looking for the in and out save, but that does make it a little bit weak against that lateral shot that comes into the left side of the net. And you can't let the backboard be free against almost anybody in this tournament, especially not Zen. And now Arsenal up against Alpha, wants to try and force the low challenge. Alpha just managed to stave off for a while, and now we get the team bumps between Alpha and Radosin. Actually works out for Alpha. Absolutely, he'll be very happy with the way that he was able to control afterwards. 
I like the passing options. And LJ actually backed down. Now Hoxter, he's got the options. Goes for Radosin's car, can't quite find it. Arsenal did go out to look for a passing opportunity there as well. Once the pass was not a possibility, he goes to the bump instead, then rotates back. He's very much playing around LJ and Hoxter at the moment. Yeah, both teams playing very efficiently. There's uh, almost a classic game one here. Both these teams, I believe, have got gears to go to. And it's Team Vitality that will be happier of the two right now. They've got their goal advantage. They know Space Station are going to have to start being a little bit more aggressive, and they might get caught out off the backboard, and Hoxter has it covered. I don't find that goal, but this is the exact position that Vitality would like to be in. Their default playstyle is to send one person forward. It doesn't commit too much. They often have two people back to make a save if it's counted quickly. Space Station have to open it up, and the bump will be just what they needed. Hoxter tries to get there. He taps it away from Alpha. Ooh. So now Space Station can keep going. Infield pass is available. Instead, they go for the challenges. That bounces awkwardly. So Vitaly will be happy with how close that was to the backboard. Now Zen, opposite side of the field, leaves it for Alpha to finish the game. Space Station keep it out. Counter-attack not working here. Vitality don't need the goal. They're just going to keep them pinned in for now. Zen with the slowdown play ensures that Space Station can't get a pass out of defense. One player of Space Station all the way at the other end. They're trying to push it as hard as they possibly can. Radosin stole the boost. It's going to be tough for Space Station to play it. They've got to go coast to coast. Challenge comes in, and Radosin will make sure Vitality have got the first game. They continue their streak on land. Vitality now at this land, 5-0. and oh. A very, very strong performance as a team here with Zen. Leading that charge early, Radosin getting on the board. It's going to be a, a real question mark now for Space Station. What can they do? How can they break that two-man back play that's happening in Vitality? How can they get one of them off the pitch and, and maybe get a, a stronger counterattack? Yeah, well, this is how it started off, and it did come from the demo plays, and I don't dislike what Space Station did. It was just the challenges in defense. Always there was going to be one that went against them that finally happened, and we saw how clinical Vitality are. It really is a situation of you can't not just make mistakes, you can't even give up half chances. It's so impressive as well that Vitality are able to keep the ball hmm. in the Space Station corner in those areas, and it's because they don't slam it against that backboard. Yeah. They don't, they're not trying to get it into center. They're just trying to keep control and keep Space Station from getting out. And we saw that with the first goal. Eventually, Space Station try and find a new angle, and it goes down the center of the pitch where it's much more scorable of a position for Vitality. Quick highlight as well towards the the fourth players on both of these teams, Vera, over on the side of Team Vitality, yeah. your ex-player. The Airbus here deploying his fighter jets and looking to get the second game. I'm so I'm so proud of Vera. Uh, he's really been one of those players for the all, longest time. He's very smart, but has a great head on his shoulders. Very, very good teammate, and you can see what he's done for this Vitality team. Sad Junior will be sure to give you your flowers at the end of this game, hopefully, for Space Station fans. Of one of their victories. Got the first goal in the last game, did not finish it. Ended up losing 2-1. to one. Arsenal looking for the pass down to LJ. Not for the first time, actually, Space Station colliding into one another. Their decision-making has been a little bit too aggressive. They're pushing too far forward into those back corners, the areas behind the team, Vitality. Uh, and Radosa is behind. That's a typical Radosa moment. It's uh -huh. fine. It's all good. I've seen so many of them. I just expected that one to go in, but they get away from it. And Alpha 54 is found, Zen. He's went to the barber, and Arsenal a little off the side there. Radosa. Out to Arsenal. It's a nice bounce there for LJ, who can control, takes the air. Yeah. Look, like he got hit a little bit on his way up. This is where Space Station needs to not get caught, especially off the challenges. If they give something up, then it will end up in the back of their net. Now Zen goes for the infield pass. That is far too much work for anybody to do. I like this here. Space Station taking their time. Just need to make sure that they don't give up an easy challenge. And that from LJ is so good. That's what they're going to need more of. It's so difficult for Vitality to defend. We've got Arsenal constantly not just looking for bumps, getting into positions for a redirect as well. You always have to worry about the ball going over the top of your head. It does lead to usually worse touches. Vitality, though, their mechanics usually make up for it. If they are caught in an awful position, they can still make a good touch come out. And just like that, Alpha 54 gets a good clear. And even the follow-up, he might just have the goal. On the transition, almost caught out. Space Station 
are telegraphing this bump style of their offense. But if it's going to work, it's going to work. And heck, that's something that even if you do telegraph it, uh, telegraph it, it becomes very difficult as a defender to still not have that in the back of your head. So I don't necessarily mind that. LJ again has kind of been tasked with a lot of the individual plays. Alpha happy to try and take him on to see who can outplay the other. Midfield, nobody around from Vitality. Arsenal chasing down the opposite side of the field. He has got the boost, he's got the pass off the backboard. Hawks is so far back, still takes the shot oh. because they had Arsenal attacking the goalkeeper. Amazing, amazing recovery from Vitality. There were multiple moments in that the space station had forced out an early play from Team Vitality's defense. And look at that, the touchdown. Alpha 54 finds the goal. You had to get something, Hoxer. And unfortunately, Zen's tapped into the Matrix. He knew how to get around you. 1-0 Vitality. Just went up and found a little bit of a turbulence. Slowed him down as he's spinning in the air. And that's enough for Zen to beat him out. Vitality with the first. And we saw in the last game how much they just loved a one-goal lead that they can rest on. Well, they might not have a chance here. The pass from Arsenal more than he wanted. Off the wall, Hoxter. Ceiling touch. Space Station. Here we go. Need to find something. The bump plays have had slight success, but they're not scoring from them. Now of two minutes, Space Station need to find a little bit of magic. Now looking a little bit too desperate. All three members of Space Station playing very close to the ball. And it's kind of meaning that if there's an opportunity for one, there's an opportunity for multiple. But the next touch doesn't have anybody there to follow up on it. Dosing up. Beat to the ball by LJ. In comes Arsenal right down the middle. Alpha will not have asked for too much more than that. Instead, oh! Well, Hoxter, I'm going to say, was going to get it. He was going to get it. He had to avoid a bump from Radosin. Very difficult. Radosin trusting a lot in Zen's uh, pinch. And he's going to go close towards the net. LJ has the chance. And he's cross it. Now going to keep going at Alpha. I think he got caught by the smoke screen. Felt like he had to pre-jump. And it's gone underneath him. That's exactly what happened, Shogun. Alpha 54, unable to see it just at the top. He has to guess where that ball's going to go. That is another added danger that these demo players can make. A smoke screen for the defense and the first goal on the board for Space Station. And now an opportunity off the kickoff. Arsenal centers it. LJ was charging forwards. Huge opportunity here for Space Station. Vitaly seems to be in cruise control with their one goal lead. The demos are now starting to make something for them. Maybe not in the way they anticipated, but it is working and Vitaly be aware of that. Now Zen looking for the backboard. Hoxter controls. Sort of play there from Zen there. You're just testing. Oh, Hoxter, how are your nerves, mate? You're going to make a mistake and Hoxter certainly not providing. Vitality, they're not looking too nervous either, but they are having to play very much solo. They know that the person behind is often going to be out of the play, demoed and gone. Not able to defend if they make a mistake. Just reducing the amount of risks that the player on the ball can take. And there we go, another shot from Arsenal. Sort of match right now that I would describe as like a coach's dream. Very clean across the field. Everyone's trying to make sure that they keep track of their role. It's very clear what the game plan is and it hasn't changed the entire time. I got very nervous. I could hear boost and I was wondering if that was a demo attempt coming in. But it was just more players and they're not for the first time, the they're gone for the pinch! No way! And not for the first time, it's not far off! Zen now drops down zero seconds! And we will have overtime! Alpha 54 has hit the post again, Vitality could have taken that in regulation time, it's now on Space Station to take advantage. Space Station have a very, very good overtime record, but only beaten by one team and that's going to be Vitality. And right now T-Bates might be wondering what that argument was about because yes, they went to uh, overtime so often against Moist yesterday, did Vitality, but they won all of them. Now will they add another one to that pile? It's off the backboard. What a save by LJ. 26 seconds into overtime. Vitality working hard. So is Arsenal. He's shown his clutch factor in the wild card so far. Hoxter as well. The player right now with the most overtime goals in this tournament. And almost makes a big mistake. And that was going to be the phrase of this series. Do not make a mistake. They've got away with one. Vitality will be starting to rue the amount of chances that they've had. Now they've got Zen. Oh my goodness, he has already pre-jumped. Now off the backboard, Hoxha gets rid. Arsenal tries to put the ball onwards. 
Vitality on the attack still. This is where they're, we've seen them a lot more. Up against Moist yesterday, they spent the entire time in attack and one quick counter play has actually put the ball back in Space Station's court. Zen with the breakaway now, may have the opening, may have the touch, he doesn't have the angle though. You already saw Hoxha jump, he knew that there was still every chance from that kind of angle that Zen can hit it. Level respect there, as Arsenal control off the ceiling, wanted to go wide. Be happy to see that 100 boost turned up as he arrived. Space Station infield, LJ backboard, Radosin's got to get there. You don't want LJ's having those for free, but now it's a race to the ball and Zen will win it quite comfortably. Even Arsenal couldn't expect that that miss would come through from Vitality. And there's a shot from Radosin that's going to go plowing off the side as well. Vitality happy to hit the side of the wall there. Almost playing a game of chicken with Space Station. Do you want to jump for this? Do you want to remove yourself from the play? Now they've got one player down. Oxo was thinking of charging the challenge and instead it's double commit. Arsenal, you've got so much work to do. Do not get dumped. And he does not. Here's the Thunderdome now. It's getting brutal demos back and forth. As one team brings them forward, the other team are reminded that the demo is the option. Vitality getting in the mix now. At that other end, they've got another demo, or bump attempt over on the side, and Hoxha recovers. Oh, and that was the opportunity. LJ's missed it. He did run out of boost, so can't really blame him too much for it. Bump attempt on Alpha. Feels like the game plan has been laid bare by both teams. Space Station want the demo. Vitality dare you to take them on the challenge. We dropped out. Arsenal flicks. And Zen had it covered. Not enough power from Arsenal, but he did have the right decision. Slow down that play. Hoxha, oh, so close to getting it over that last defender. LJ, another chance around the corner. Has Zen to contend with Rudosan behind all three members of Team Vitality back. Make that only two, make that zero. And that's not in. Zen, can he get around it? Neither can Hoxha. Somebody score, it will be LJ. It took three minutes, but Space Station once they were in the orange side of the field, we're not going to give it up. It really felt like they'd committed to either we score or we will get scored on, and they get the positive result. It feels like Space Station's done this better than anybody else. Following up the plays we saw yesterday, the multiple pass plays, the five pass plays in a row that they were able to get. And you see, once they knew that the ball bot was behind, the defenders in this final play, no clear was possible, so they may as well push all forward. That's slightly different to how we started this series, because when we started the series, Space Station were, as you were mentioning, being very close to each other, yeah. but almost ineffective in the way that they were doing it. Now they're close to each other, but they're still relevant to the play. They're now close to each other, but in a different position rotationally. Before they were sort of both one person on the left-hand side of the net, one person on the right-hand side of the net, in both in a position where they want to be the next person to make a play on the ball. This time it's one person to the side of the net and the other person behind that one, waiting for them to go. And that's why in that play you saw them come in four, five, six times to follow up because once that first person's out, he's now getting behind. So full credit to Space Station, one of the most selfless teams that we have seen, not just this season, but any season, all looking out for one another. I think you need some of those self-improvement books too. I am perfect as gameplay. I am, I will have you know. I'm perfect. Arsenal, whatever he's been reading, it's been working. What a season. And maybe what a season end could be waiting for them because the prevailing consensus will be, if you can be Vitality, you can be anybody. Exactly right, Vitality have not shown any weakness just yet. I'll tell you what, as we said, Arsenal, one of the best players, one who steps up the most when it comes to these high pressure land environments. Zen takes the first time shot. LJ didn't have it, Arsenal did. Let's see what the response is. Vitality usually respond back with violence when they lose the game. Not a team that's typically rattled all too much. Right now, they are being forced to fight a very clean game against Space, Space Station, who are picking their spots well. It certainly changed up the way that they like to attack here, too. Instead of hitting the ball forward off the backboard, trying to get a first touch that they can follow up on, maybe take some kind of advantage, even some venom out of the defense, make them use some boost to go high and challenge early. LJ has got a good pass, and Alpha 54 goes down the other end. It's Hoxer alone. He's been in this position a lot. Can he do it again? He does. Now he needs the help. LJ was there. Arsenal 
down the line to LJ. What a pass that was. Now LJ looks to keep it going. One of the backboard. Arsenal control. He's got Hoxton right behind him, so Arsenal's only real play here is to try and go solo. You see Space Station, it's not even necessarily in conventional places they like to start sending all three to. I mean, this is the opponent's corner, and I've just seen all three members head over that way. Now they get the shot. Car was more already in the right position more than the shot was saved. It's usually very difficult to score from around your opponent's uh, corner. It's normally oh, it's a, a nightmare. It's a safe place, a place where somebody from Team Vitality can come out from the net, take some boost, and, and even just get a touch back into the corner. However, you can see the way the Space Station are dealing it are actually making it much more difficult than normal. Their touches are, are completely unpredictable. Sometimes the infield pass, sometimes they are just hitting around the corner. Sometimes they're getting some very odd soft touches that are causing Team Vitality to have to backflip and, and get into awkward positions so they can't clear. This is a demo. Alpha trying to buy some time, but Arsenal having none of it. PlayStation have had the better of this opening exchange. The backboard, LJ against Radosin, who went high on the challenge. No real way of coming through on top on that. And now we've got Zen. Shadowed quite well here by Hoxter. And Zen has to back down. Space Station's reads are on point. Arsenal reading that 50 beautifully, knowing that Hoxter could go for it. Arsenal hanging out in the midfield, supporting his teammates well, and that is the story of Space Station. Similar to G2 last year when they went all the way to the top two, they were the teamiest team, and we're looking at maybe the same thing for Space Station as they get another opportunity at net. When was the last time Vitality even had a chance? When was the last time we spoke about this when it comes to Vitality? But it has also been the underrated side of them. It has been the counter-attacks. They catch you out of nowhere. Space Station needs to be wary of that. Passed across, just did not want the power clear, and now Radosin keeps going. <laughs> Zen chasing down LJ, it's off the backboard. And LJ was low boost, we now go to the opposite side. Zen wants to try and catch somebody out. But what's that all Vitality are going to have right now? It does seem so. Arsenal declares a challenge. LJ's controlled the ball, goes on the wrong side, and Radosin had to recover quickly. If it's enough to fool your teammates, it's enough to fool your opposition as well. LJ taking it away from Hoxha, but the defense were playing for Hoxha's touch and almost ends up being a goal for Space Station. Vitality as well in so many situations now using all their boosts. They can't get those counterattacks. They have to figure something out. They have to control that midfield line and get into that attacking position that they love. I'd almost love next time we see either LJ or Hoxha on the air dribble, trying to get the ball to the orange side of the field. We can just jump that camera onto a Vitality player and you'll see the nightmare that they're having because Arsenal is after everybody in those situations and Vitality can't just play it the way they want to. They've got to almost play Flores Lava uh, as Arsenal chases them down. LJ is actually still around. Just trying to make life awkward for Vitality here. It's not about the best touch, it's about making sure Vitality don't get their ideal touch. Exactly. Space Station Gaming playing exactly what you want to do up against maybe a favorite team, a team that have a lot of individual mechanics. They're early challenging, they're getting behind with the demos, so they're preventing Team Vitality from having boost in the first place or the right position to make a play. Oh, well, as good as they've done. Uh -oh. This is where it can fall down! What was it earlier on, Yummy? One mistake! So painful, LJ jumped off the wall early thinking that that was going to be more towards the net. He could have waited on the backboard and challenged, but that's somehow, sometimes, what you see, hindsight is 2020. Everything that Space Station did well was worth nothing. They were gonna try and get something back here, but they're running out of time in a game that they have been the better of the two. They've had the more offense. They didn't create anything of it. Vitality shut them down every single time and have got the game number three victory. Vitality on top, but you've got to go out to SSG. Everybody's had a series, a game like this, where you just feel like you're in control, like you're taking so much more uh, at offensive chances, like you're just missing the post on your chances. Unfortunately, not the first time. Space Station could have had this game, but you can't give even just a slight opening to Vitality. A again, yesterday, Vitality against Moist, any little mistake, it's completely over. Wow, I'm just... I mean, we talk about maybe the one that was white, but the save from Fredosin on LJ's flick, incredible. And it is Vitality who held on, did the work they have to do, and he can actually shoot Space Station. I don't really remember all that many of them, I'll be honest with you.
a lot, the time a, out. A large part of their shots were just kind of Clear. players towards the net and, and even just plays towards the net with very little boost. Uh, Vitality didn't get me chances. I am surprised by how many, how few shots are on the board for Space Station. And they are talking it out. They have mm. called the timeout Space Station. Will be up to Sad Junior to get them into the right head space. I think more important than anything else isn't strategy. It's actually just making sure that they know they've got the right. They're play. playing well. It's working, but just maybe have a bit more confidence, play a little bit more like they did at the end of that game too. Yeah, I think it's very important right now that, and I know Sad's you know, one of the smartest guys I talk to when it comes to Rocket League IQ. He's locked in on this sort of thing. I think he'll be more aware than anyone else it's almost there. If you're going to change anything, small things, even just ice Vitaly a little bit with this, you don't want to make huge sweeping changes because if you do that, Vitaly might just be more comfortable. They've also been very pragmatic about their approach to this match. They've gone in saying, we're not going to smash Vitality. It's not going to be an easy win. This is going to be a grind. At minimum, a game six, if not a game seven victory over the top of Vitality. And I think that's a really, really healthy response, or at least considering the current 1-2 situation for them. To come in and always know that you're going to have to fight a little bit from behind. You're going to have to figure things out and adapt as you go. So far, they have made a good fight of it. But Moist Esports yesterday made a good fight of it in the games. We saw what happened to them. If you want to take down the current reigning major champions, you need something a little bit extra. Space Station, have you found it? I think it's going to have to come down to one player from Space Station to truly step up. LJ and Hoxer have put their hands up. Arsenal did in game number two. But if one of them can have that stellar performance like we saw from LJ yesterday, like Hoxer early on in the wild card, that might be enough to take down Vitality at this rate. Oh, well, LJ's already on the follow. They've got the demo. Need to play this as quickly as possible before the rotation is back. Ball drops down, and how good was that? Radosin! LJ just trying to beat him any way he can. He was looking to the right-hand side because Radosin was coming from the right-hand side, and yet he's still able to recover to the backboard, turn around and get to that ball before the follow-up. Sublime play just nullified all of the offensive pressure, although that touch almost managed to bait Arsenal in. Radosin actually almost got it over the top of Hoxha. Can't afford to get too aggressive, but right now they are chasing down for those demos. You can already see Hoxha start 100 boost as well. But even with all of that, Vitality adapts. I, I still really like that play from Hoxha. At all times, he's threatening both a play on the ball and a demo. He's originally looking for the bump. He goes out to the backboard once he sees that bump is not possible. It always keeps kind of a, a bigger threat on them. It keeps them questioning what Space Station are about to do. But I'm questioning how Rodosin got that behind the defender. So it all starts off over here. LJ missed the 100 boost. He wanted to get 100 boost and the ball. Mm. And from there, everyone's out of position. Everyone thought it was going to be a comfortable LJ pickup. Missed positions. Chain of calamity. Arsenal expected LJ to get contact with the ball, but he went for the boost. And then the last player, Hoxha, tried to scatter to make up for it. And we've seen how dangerous a one goal lead, an early lead can be for Team Vitality. And this is a sort of game now where Space Station have to answer back. Well, that didn't take long. They got here with teamwork and they continue their world run in Dusseldorf with an immaculate pass play. Hoxha into LJ, catching two players from Vitality, rotating through the back corner. We are learning a lot here about both of these teams. Vitality are so good at the adaptation. Space Station, do not go away. They're an absolute menace. So is Alpha 54 with the dunk, but couldn't find it on target. I think Space Station, no matter how much you adapt, it's very hard to continue to adapt when you have two players on the pitch at all times. One of you constantly demoed out. Well, we already see Arsenal getting in front of everybody. Oxer on the way back. And he's had an argument with the crossbar. Needs some help. Those arguments tend to go one way. Didn't end up winning the debate, but wasn't the best touch in the first place. His teammates expecting it to go the other side. That's meant that they're stuck in the defense for now. Team Vitality may get a slow chance, but it's actually going to be Zen taking his time. Yeah, he had zero boost. Didn't have any other options. Time to lay the pass over to his teammates. Let's give Vitality a little bit of a look on the offense here. Zen. 
immediately chasing down for the demo. Didn't play the ball that quickly to start with, so I don't quite know what the full goal scoring play was going to be. Definitely looked like he wanted an actual slight contact with that one just to hit it up and over so that Danny could go for the bump. Plan B, the bump would have worked anyway, but Space Station Gaming have been so impressed, especially with LJ, how many times he's avoided a bump and not been taken out of the play, recovered very quickly and got out to the ball. Good boost still there from Zen in the midfield. Meant Arsenal had to chase down, and now his way back is going to be with Zero, so it's going to take a while. Has to again go for the challenge on Zero. And that is the sort of situation that you find yourself in afterwards. Hoxter all by himself. Arsenal is finally now back, but they've got Zen already set up. Those little things that tend to start blowing up as we go on. But Dostin, I don't know if he has a reset or not. Either way, he's not going to use it. Zen keeps control of the ball. Even Alpha Ooh. wanted some of it, and actually, that's caught them out. Radosin's really far forward. Arsenal has to find the redirect, and it was an awful lot to ask. Extremely close. Zen with almost zero boost after what seemed to be a rare miscommunication that came from Team Vitality. Alpha 54 called Zen off. Oh, here we go, a double commit as well. This is danger for Team Vitality. Arsenal has a flip reset, and Zen has to come to save the day again and almost goes in the other end. Zen had to do what you always have to do in those positions. Play the ball. Go for it. Do not get faked. LJ's popped the ball up, and what a crucial touch that is, because Alpha was going for the double tap. Both these teams are all about a Oh my goodness. Zen. Oh! Almost a worldie. There will be a follow-up set up by Zen. Well, you don't want to hit, let him hit the signature. He'll be fine with it, though. Radosin, ready, willing, and in the perfect spot to slot it right down the middle. Radosin always there. That is his MO. Be there for the follow-up. Be there for the pressure. Be there to score. And will he be there at the end of this game with a victory? Zen has support of Alpha, and it's in. Team Vitality were tied all of this game, and now they're two in the lead within 10 seconds. My goodness. I mean, what does it take? You managed to get one, but Vitality got the bigger player. The one on the goal line. They've got a two-goal lead. Space Station, you've played clean up to this point. Now it's time to send everything. Now is where, as well, it gets scary. Vitality have found the bigger picture. They've puzzled it together. Hoxha could have had that a uh, good shot at that one. LJ reset. Radosin again plays the ball. They break to the opposite side of the field. Arsenal has gone for the psycho. It's not one of the worst attempts I've seen, but guess what? Vitality have no reason to overcommit. Hoxha, so close. LJ has another chance over to Arsenal. Arsenal with the double. Goes down to Hogsa. What a team play. And yet it doesn't matter how well they play as a team. There's always a member of Vitality. You would trust any one of these members of Vitality to defend. If you've got all three back, good luck finding any way past them. And that is the danger when Vitality head into the final minute with the lead. Looking for a consolation goal. They will find it. But Vitality have found something so much more important. Triple match points. That last play, that last goal from Arsenal. He's going to be thinking back to earlier in the game where he did have a redirect opportunity over a, Zen, a boostless Zen. The it was a difficult shot. There's but some... you need to... It, yeah. That's the level we're at. It's been decided by simple mistakes. This entire game, the last game, one mistake was a major difference. And that's what's going to be against a team like Vitality. I have been very impressed and I love this uh, intra inter-regional matchups that come up with North America's Space Station, the number one seed of the Spring Split, up against Team Vitality, the number one team from EU. They're both trying to apply pressure, but they do it in different ways. With Space Station applying pressure by stealing boost, getting bumps, being behind the opposition, and always being kind of in their face. They have, it forces Vitality to play faster and worry a lot more about boost. Vitality do it in a completely different way. They take the ball up in the air with one person looking for flip resets, daring them to come up and waste their boost and come out to them. They have to, and it, it forces Space Station on the back foot. Two, two completely different ways of tackling the same game. I think the big thing I've learned here from Vitality is just how comfortable they are defending. They don't mind whatsoever. Yeah. They are happy just to sit there. I think that's extra impressive considering the demos. It's so hard to do that when you've got players constantly behind you. So, Space Station 
it was going to be a massive upset if they were able to defeat Team Vitality. And that was just from kickoff. Now you are two games down. You've got to win the next three. Let's see what sort of history you can go and make. It's going to be an upset. It's going to have to be way more than that. Three upsets in a row required for Space Station. North American Darlings and North America have scored the goal. Hawkstar receives the pass once again. The one, two, left, right. Good night. So good, because Redosin's got to respect both options. We know Space Station are heavy on the team plays, but you just have to be wrong once. You just have to see the flick over the top of your once, and then those situations get so much more deadly. That's exactly it. Space Station Gaming always threatening two plays. They could go for the flick, they could go for the pass, they go for another pass upfield. LJ's first touch, though, too high for him to follow up. Big important thing here for Space Station is they need to settle on this lead. Every time they've scored first, they've conceded very quickly afterwards. Free jump from LJ, that is wasting some of that boost. And actually may slow down their attack a little bit as he had to come in and cut from the side. He almost makes brilliance from it with a sharp turn. Arsenal gets it back to Hoxha. He does have LJ. One, two, three pass play. Can he make it four? No. You already see Arsenal is just behind everything. So difficult. They want you to go forward. They'll dare you. It becomes such an easy choice. And this time they go for the solo play. Threaten the pass. They did have that passing opportunity on the right-hand side. They change it up. Alpha off the wall. Couldn't find the second touch. Doesn't matter. LJ forced to make the save. Vitality have not needed many chances to find their goals. Vitality happy to take a shot on net and force some pressure out. Vitality, uh, sorry, Zen was hanging very, just play the fast play. Hanging out on the wall early. Space Station needs to be ensured that they get the ball in the right out area out of defense or it'll be very quickly in. Free jump from Alpha, couldn't find the ball. Now looking for a passing play. The infield might be around here. LJ's gonna hook it around the wall. I already see a few players on the backboard. Zen charges forward, takes control. And as far as Arsenal though, Space Station looking great in the opening two minutes, but these are the situations. They've looked good at the start of all of these games. That's usually where they've been caught. Altrey's done it again. He's avoided the Zen bump, the Zen demo, and managed to get a save at the same time. He's going to have to do another one. LJ has done enough. No! Hoxha couldn't get back in time. Redosen's put it in there tied again. It's always the low challenges that will get you. LJ knew that he had to play the challenge. Unfortunately for him, he's not the one setting the criteria. He made the choice that he would try and push it through left with the attacker. But Vitality get even further around the ball. That's why it dips back into centre. Radosin going for number two. It is defended out. Space Station staying calm for now. Space Station now looking for a second. Oh, well, trying well. to hit each other. That would be a, certainly a good start. Arsenal off the challenge. It's very open for everybody, but LJ's been beat clean. That means that the passing play was available. Left for Zen. Does have 100, so let's see what the Magician can come up with. That is how you deal with the Magician. Get rid of him. He's been up in the air. Redosin, just trying to slow this down. Give Alpha 54 time to get in, and Zen time to go take some boost at the back corner. And that time has been valuable to get Zen back into this play. LJ once again in an awkward position. Backwards on the back wall, the hardest spot. Makes the save. But it won't continue on the attack. The counter-attack's not quite ready as Space Station have been just stuck on defense for too long to have enough boost. I get very worried when I see those kind of challenges for LJ. You have to find something on Space Station. Either hit the ball a little bit or hit a car as we're dosing. Try to find LJ's car. If they don't do that. They have been found so often stuck in the 1v2, which Vitality will score from. And with Vitality, looking to take the ball up into the air a lot and solo play, they're now adding an extra layer to that. One person goes up, threatens that they're going to hang up there with a flip reset, but they're actually faking out for their teammate. And that's starting to speed up a little bit their play in front of the space station net. Arsenal tries to get rid of the ball. Zen, passing play, Hoxha. Finds enough of the car in the way of the oncoming shot. LJ's opportunity. Where's he going to go? Looks for the pass. Arsenal, he's got the first block. They almost got Radosin, who will be very happy that that bump did not annihilate him. Millimeters away there, and that could be the difference. This time, it's not the mistakes. It is just timing. Alpha 54 once again blocked out an impressive read from LJ off the backboard. Radosin went early. Did have Zen in support. 
miscommunication there from Vitality because that looked, uh, well, dangerous. There's now we get the shot. Alpha 54 wants the world championship. Good luck to anybody that's going to try and stop him. You have all three members of Space Station there. You need four, five, six to defend against Team Vitality. Bumps going left and right, LJ in net, one person challenging, Alpha 54 still can find those gaps. But well, they've got a player running forward, LJ could not find the bump. It has become more and more difficult as Vitality have locked in what the player is going to be, but LJ gets a crucial touch. Plays across the side, Arsenal, options available, Alpha had to go into the back of the goal, but there's a big clear, Space Station have got to go coast to coast. That's exactly what Vitality need to do, send one person forward with the ball, get a clear out, and keep the other two back like they were early on the game. Space Station pushing forward, oh, they've got the demo, they've got Arsenal, he goes himself and they were ready. Alpha played the ball yet again, and it is Team Vitality who have kept this ball up. Well, let's see how that one works out. LJ tries to chase it. Alpha puts the ball down. Vitality have made it to the playoffs.